Hello, and welcome to Crazy Talk Tutorials. Producing music videos in fewer than 10 minutes with puppeteering and layer editing. Before you get started, search through YouTube to find some videos that you might like to recreate. In this tutorial you will be asked to choose your favorite song or video and create a music video of your own in under 10 minutes. Using the audio from your favorite song and crazy talk, anyone can become a music video director instantly. Also, you will learn how to edit layers to enhance your video directly in crazy talk. After searching through music videos on YouTube, go ahead and open crazy talk. Notice the clock icon on the top right. It will appear at the beginning and the end of our production to prove that you can actually achieve this in under 10 minutes. Open Crazy Talk 5.0 and select Model Mode. Then, choose an avatar that best fits your music video. In this tutorial, we are doing a soul music track, so we're going to use a character that relates. Then select the script mode from the top toolbar and click on the Timeline tab. To launch the timeline. If there is data on the timeline, you can go ahead and clear that. If not, you can go ahead and choose Import WAV File to place your audio in the project. This will be the audio directly mixed from the track with the vocals and the background music embedded. But really, what we want is our avatar to lip sync the lyrics. So you need to highlight and delete the default phonetic tabs to get rid of any of the unwanted facial animation. You may also choose to leave phonetic tabs where there are vocals, deleting only the ones where there are space in between phrases for your music video. Click the puppeteering button to launch the puppeteering panel and select the attractive puppet profile. Then select a face controller that you wish to use that corresponds with the area of the face you want to begin editing. The great thing about the puppeteering panel is that it allows you to record multiple passes of animation that will be applied to our timeline as facial animation keyframes. Focusing on specific areas one at a time also allows users to really develop a high range of emotion, in this case for a soul love song. Click record and then use the space bar to start and stop the first facial animation pass. Feel free to do more than one pass if you like. Now begin to give your character some head tilting and rotation. First, click Clear Selection at the bottom right of the toolbar, and then turn on Head Rotation and Head Orientation Controls. These will allow you to move the avatar's head and profile to create movement animation keyframes. Again, click Record and use the spacebar to start and stop the first facial animation pass. Feel free to do more than one pass if you like. Again, locate and click the clear selection button at the bottom right of the toolbar and then select the blink solo feature which will allow you to add blinks and I shut keys by clicking or clicking and holding to keep closed. This again is a quick and easy way to add realistic emotion and facial animation to your music video. Click record and use the spacebar once again. Focus on the jaw solo feature and the actual mouth movement itself. This is where the lip sync will begin to take shape and complete the facial animation. Again, we are using a soul music related character design for this example. However, your avatar may be whatever you like when producing your video. So your image may need a bit of feature limits editing. What this means is that your character may stretch more than you might like. We can change that very simply. 
so that when you begin to record your lip sync, the jawbone will not overextend itself. If you run into this issue, you can simply edit the feature's values by clicking Edit Property, and then reset the jaw value from 100 to a lower percentage that best works for your avatar. For this example, we'll be using a value of 40. Close the Edit Property menu, and then once again, do another recording pass. Select Record and use your spacebar. At any time before you move on in your production, feel free to go back and reference the original music video for facial animation or character motion. Now, your facial animation is complete, so go ahead and close the puppeteering panel and click and drag a box around all the data on the timeline, excluding your wave file. Then, right click the motion clip and select the ungroup option. This allows you to edit the timeline and add special effects to your music video. It's easy to use special effects to composite backgrounds and overlays directly to your video without using a video editor. Now, double click the special effects track to open the special effects menu. This is where you can quickly add fades, overlays, and transitions, plus much more. Your avatar is ready, but now you need to add a background to your music video. Make sure the template bullet is selected, and then choose image overlay, and then use the flyout menu to choose full screen. Then select a full screen overlay. Then make sure that it is placed at the beginning of our timeline. This is because we're going to use this special effect to create a background. To modify your full screen effect with any custom image that you wish, double click to relaunch the menu and then go to the modify button and click the import button. Then, choose any JPEG format image that's a suitable background. Images sized at 640 by 480 are best for this. Click OK to apply the special effect. Click on the special effect clip once again and drag it down to the special effects swap track. And then click the swap icon if you're not able to see your avatar. Then mouse over the right edge of your clip until you see the double arrow icon click and drag to duplicate the clip and add a background full screen special effect to the end of the project. Again, double click the special effects track to launch the special effects menu and make sure that the template bullet is selected and click image overlay once again. And this time choose transition. Then select a A fade out transition. Click OK to apply to the project and then make sure that the effect is pushed to the beginning of the timeline. This effect will fade in our character with a custom blurred image to create a camera focus type effect. Again, to modify your special effect with a custom image, in this case we have taken a screenshot of our avatar along with the background image and placed it behind her, blurred, in an external image editor. This is to create a focus effect. So again, double click to launch the menu, go to modify, select import, and grab our intro image that is blurred along with our background image added in. Select open to apply and OK to add to the timeline. As you can see when we play our project our character appears to fade in. Finally to add in other images to enhance the music video and storyline double click the special effects track to open the special effects menu. Make sure the template bullet is selected and then click the image overlay option once again and choose full screen once again. Then select a full screen overlay and make sure it is placed at the point in the timeline where you wish your other images to fade in and out. Again repeat the modify process to add in custom images. Do this for any and all images that you wish to add into your project. This will make your music video much more appealing. Now you have successfully taken the steps to create a realistic custom music video of your favorite song. All that's left to do is export your movie. Select the Output tab from the top toolbar, and then select the Video option. Choose your format and size. As you can see, there are...
Crazy Talk 5.0, you have the option of recreating your favorite music video starring you, or create a whole new video with your favorite artist or performer. This is accomplished faster using Crazy Talk than any other facial animation tool. So fast, in fact, anyone can do this in fewer than 10 minutes. It's that easy and lots of fun to do with Crazy Talk. If you have any further questions, please feel free to visit www.realusion.com or contact technical support.